Hey, how are you everybody? Today I want to talk to you about the bass, this beautiful, beautiful instrument right there. And I want to show you how easy it is to record. All you need is the instrument, one cable, one DI, and that's it. You're done. It's that easy. Let me show you. Once you have all your bass recorded on your DAW, the next thing you want to do is to actually start playing with some sounds. You might want to use the clean sound of your bass, and that is totally fine. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's very, very normal, very, very common to use the DI, the, just, just the clean sound of the bass. But the, what, that will depend on your song, so every song is different. For example, on, this, on the song I'm, wor I'm working here with, uh, I really want to change the sound of the bass. I don't want it to be that clean and that uh, thin. I want it more aggressive, more compressed, uh, distorted, more fat. So what, I, what I'm going to use to transform the sound is my loved amplitude, which I use for 99% of, of the, the reamping that I do here. So I got the clean signal of the bass right here. So you can listen. Let's... So that's the clean bass, as you can hear, it's very, very thin. It's, it doesn't have much low end on that bass. So what I'm going to use is the amplitude, and I like this uh, preset that I have here, it's the Ampeg. Let me show you how it sounds by itself, and then I explain you what, what I changed about this preset. Going from this to this. It's a very big transformation. If you're not familiar with the amplitude, let me show you first what this is about. So you have here the stomp first, where you can add different pedals. You can add up to 10 pedals. It's a lot. No, I mean 12. Uh, six here plus another six here. Um, so I added only two pedals here, the compressor and the, the, the fuzz. Uh, very, very aggressive distortion. From there, I went into the amp. Uh, and I'm using the, this Ampeg SVTCL, which is a very classic model with a little bit of gain here, um, not much low end in here, but yes in here, and then a lot of treble also, nothing else, inserts, and the cabinet. So the cabinet, I actually changed it. Uh, I think in the preset this was the one that it will come with, and I changed for this one, the one that you can see here on the main screen. Uh, it's an orange cabinet, uh, and it's a big, big, big cabinet. <laughs> so it was giving me a different sound. It was just for the sound. It's not because it's big or, or small. It's just because I like better this sound. And I also changed the microphone. So right here on these tabs, you can actually go through and change uh, different settings. Uh, obviously, you have all of these different, uh, di different cabinets to, to choose from. But I like this one here. You can also change the microphone, which I did. Uh, I, I used this microphone here. It was giving me, giving me even more low end. You can change the position of the microphone. You can add some room if you want, some room ambience. I didn't add any any for, for this song. And here is the mixer. So if you, if you want, you can actually um, use more than one microphone to point uh, to the cabinet. I did just mic the, 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 the cabinet with the one microphone, that's all. But if you add more, you can mix the two microphones here, plus the room mic. All right. So that's all I did. And then the rack is nothing here, no effects, no nothing. That's all. That's all the sound I got. So with the, with the amplitude on, this is the sound of the bass. And let me add the drums just to, to have some more fun. So that's the sound I have. Now, uh, there is another trick that you can use that a lot of people use is uh, actually blending the DI, so the clean sound of the bass, with the amp. So that's something that you can actually do and it's very, very nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is to duplicate the channel, the bass channel, but not the inserts. So the insert, I don't want another amplitude there. I just want the clean channel. So now I have the bass uh, amp 
and the clean bass. All right. So this is the clean clean bass and dirty bass. So now what you want to do is to blend these two together. Um, in this case, because this specific bass doesn't have much low end, I don't want to use any of the low end of this bass. Uh, but you can actually experiment with that. Maybe you prefer to have the low end of the of your clean signal and not from the amp or vice versa. In this case, I'm going to leave the amp signal as my bass, bass low end sound. And I'm going to grab an EQ and just clean a little bit of the the low end on the clean sound. So with a high pass, I'm going to clean everything below 300. I don't want any of the low end. Let's see how it sounds. It's probably going to sound awful. Yeah, sounds very, very bad, right? So as you can hear, this is unusable as it is. Uh, so uh, why I will do that? Because I want to keep only the peak sound. I play the bass with the peak. So I want that sound uh, to add and to help the bass cut through the mix also because you need something, some, some high-end information that are there to, to, to help it cut through the guitars. Another thing that I will like to add is a distortion. So a little bit of distortion there just to help a little bit more to cut through. I like this distortion here. You can use any distortion you want, uh, but I like this one here. So let me show you what I do here. So now I have a very distorted and compressed and thin sound. Now I have to add this to the other sound. So let me let's hear both of these. The yellow one, remember, is the the clean sound, which is now the the high end sound, and the other one is the amp sound. So now I have these two blended together. Let's listen with the drums. All right, so now I have these two sounds together and they sound. This means it's helping the bass to cut through the mix. That's all it's doing. I don't want it to be very prominent. I don't want it to really you be able to listen to that very much because it's not a nice sound. I mean, by itself, it's just it's just that. So I just want it to be just a little bit of a helper of the bass. But remember, you can you can do the opposite here. You don't have to do this exactly the same. You can use the low end of your clean sound, of your DI sound, instead of doing what I'm doing here. I just did this because my instrument, my bass, is not giving me a lot of low end by itself. So it's nothing really helpful in there. But you have to always experiment and listen to the song. That's the most important thing. Listen to the song and see what is what what have to be done to take it to the next level. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you can take something useful out of this video. If that's the case, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me a lot in to keep doing more videos for you guys. And leave comments below. Tell me what are your tips and tricks when recording bass, when producing bass. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you very much.